Hey everyone, it's LaShawn McQuarrie, life coach, speaker, and author of I Am Not an Option, a woman's guide to self-love and relationships. Well, it's day nine of my 14-day self-love video series, and I'd like to talk to you about happiness. That is my favorite, 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 did I say favorite word ever? I think. Actually, I have a lot of favorite words, you know, like fabulous and wonderful and fantabulous and awesome and all those other words. But I really, really love the word happy. And the reason why I love the word happy is because it just feels good saying the word happy. And when I think about everything that involves being happy. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I don't want to just be happy. I want to have joy because joy sustains you and all that other stuff. And they're right. Okay, and no knock against joy. I love joy. I have joy in my life. But I also appreciate happy moments. We hear so much about being happy and living in the now and being present. And that's what being happy allows you to do, to really hone in and focus on the present moment. And that's great. When you can just say, you know what? I'm having a great time right now. I feel good right now now i am having a fabulous time at this party right now whatever it is whatever you're doing to just really be able to embrace the moment not always over the big things but even the little things in life enjoy them and be happy you know be happy now why not what do you have to lose now i know some of you may be going through challenges in your life and the challenge isn't going to go away, but if you can, find a way to have joy and maybe laugh a little bit, even in the midst of everything that's going on, because life has its ups and downs. And I choose to be happy, especially if there's nothing going wrong in my life. I am riding happiness to the hill. You better believe it, because I know that eventually one day something will happen that makes me sad and maybe a little down. I've had a lot of people in my family that died. So I've had many opportunities to be down. But one of my choices is to continually stand up. For some of you who know me personally, you know that my mother and my grandmother died a couple years ago and they went 48 hours apart. First, my grandmother died. And then about 48 hours later, my mother left. And that was a very, oh, tragic time for me, very difficult time for me. And this happened in the month of September. And so my tribute to them and to their lives is not to be sad, but to spend every September, every day of the month of September, being as happy as I can. I've allocated it as happiness month in my life. And I don't need anybody else to participate. I'm going to go out and enjoy my life and be happy in that moment, every moment of every day. Now, this isn't just for the month of September. That's kind of like the special month. But I also try to incorporate this in every month of my life because I'm here now. And I know that all of my family members that have gone on, my sister, my dad, my grandfather, my favorite little cousin, my mother and grandmother, that they would want me to be happy. So I bask in the happiness that is life. Because life is to be celebrated and we should be happy. And so I love myself in this way, by allowing myself to love. So whatever has happened in your life, heartbreaks, and I've had those too, <laughs> enough, you know, to say, hey, I can add that to it. Disappointments, just different things that didn't happen that I expected to happen. Well, you know what? They happen. It's in the past, but I'm going to live today this moment, choosing my joy and my happiness right here, right now. And you can do the same. And I encourage you to do so. So live every day happily and not as if it's your last. I know what they were thinking when people say that live each day as if it's your last. I say no, live each day as if it's just going to be the best and then tomorrow, you'll get another best. <laughs> because you probably will be here. Now, one day you won't be. But since you're here right now, just live each day like, yeah, today is good. But I 
think I can do a little bit better tomorrow too. Just try it. See it. You just might like it. Well, that's all for today. Until tomorrow, from my heart to yours. Mwah.